This is not clickbait, I promise. Gryffindors and non-Gryffindors, we are at the beach today because I feel like my room was getting stale. It's nice out, I'm in a good mood, and Boys got new kicks on, pretty fresh. We're trying out this crisp audio because nothing beats a good video with crisp audio. How do you like that ASMR at the beach? I already know this is gonna be too windy. This is gonna suck. For those of you who aren't new, you can ask anybody that's been a day uno subscriber that we do first times on this channel. So we had a first time last week where guess what? You read the title, we met Madison Beer. Don't believe me? Check out the picture right here. It's accurate. I actually had a like five minute conversation with her, just literally just talking, nothing too crazy. I wasn't like fanboying like, oh my God, I can't believe who you are. This is insanity. No, that's not how I am, you know. So I'm gonna get right into the story today. And hopefully this audio isn't trash because then this video will be ruined. Of course, like once I set up the video, people have to start walking over here. So for those of you who don't know who Madison Beer is, she was discovered by Justin Bieber. She said when she was like 12 or 13, and she's continued her career ever since. Some of you may know, I work for local news, got the opportunity to shoot an interview with her. I wasn't the one interviewing, I was the one behind the camera because you know our camera skills are fire. All right, you know what, screw it. I'm going home to shoot the rest of this. So we came home instead. Now the couple that walked into the frame in the last scene at the beach, they got pissed off at me for some reason. But she goes, why do you film over here? Why can't you go up there? So now where I left off, Madison Beer, I had like a five minute conversation with her, just talking back and forth about like normal stuff. Weird because you see her online all the time, like on Instagram or Twitter, or she just made a song with Offset. Offset! Oh, it's crazy. Like you just sit there and talk to her for five minutes and just a normal person. These people are just normal people and they have millions and millions of fans and followers so how that day went and how everything came about is I actually picked up an extra shift to go do that shoot because one I was thinking I've seen her in like two David Dobrik vlogs hence why I wore my clickbait shirt went to work normal day got my camera equipment everything like that headed to the iHeartRadio studio where she was going to be performing at a certain time and it was just like a normal day like rushing around doing live shots shooting different video editing it together and then after that boring portion of me just shooting video and actually working i go to set up an interview she was being interviewed by my reporter so the time comes for the interview that had to be set up now here i am six six clickbait shirt looking like a fanboy 22 big forehead all of this does not mix and i'm sweating on top of it because the room is extremely hot i set up the tripod i go to put the camera on the radio host comes in the room and says hey i got madison here uh, and I'm like thinking like, all right, whatever. She's coming in a second. I turn around and there she is just sitting there. I shake her hand. And my hand is sweating at this point. It literally seems like I just dipped my hand in a pool. Not even kidding. So she probably thought I was just disgusting. It's a great impression. There we go. She didn't notice the clickbait shirt. Fine. Did the interview. Heard what my reporter was asking. And I actually had a few questions as well. I've never met anyone that that status. So I asked my question. And my one question that I asked, which kind of started just a normal conversation was, how do you make time for yourself? Because being a massive YouTube star that I am, I just wonder how to make time for myself as well. But being at that status, it's like, how do you really make time for yourself? So we get to talking, you know, ask the generic questions. Was it crazy growing up? This and that. And then she was talking about this camp she went to. And this is, of course, where I embarrassed myself. As she's talking about this camp she went to, I turn to this woman in the corner of the room, which I thought was her mother for some reason, but it wasn't her mother. So then it made it awkward because the woman in the corner probably thought I was thinking that she was old, but I really Really wasn't so I was confused and then it ended up making Madison laugh and everybody in the room laugh but I felt like an idiot a complete moron no! whatever went on with the conversation then here's where it happens this is where everybody's waiting now I do not have the picture so I apologize for that <laughs> I know, upsetting. But I asked her when she's in David Dobrik's vlogs, is that her free time or is that just like a way to network? And she said that's her best friends and they hang out all the time whenever she's in LA. And the times that she's been in those vlogs, it's been at like four in the morning. My ass is dead asleep when it's four in the morning. So of course, then she realizes my shirt. She goes, oh my God, that's insanity. I have to send a picture to David. So then she gets her phone out and she's ready to take a picture. And of course I'm like, wait, I'm not ready for this. Let me grab a camera so I don't just seem like an obsessed fan that's following you 
video around. She sent the picture and I'm not even kidding. The reason why I say this is because looking back at the pictures I took with her, I look like a dweeb. I look like I am the biggest fanboy out there just for David Dobrik. And of course, she sends him the picture and all I saw David reply was, and he replied fast, which I was like, he really replies to you that quick? All I saw David reply was, oh. And I'm like, great, this is not good. This is my one chance for David Dobrik to rather see me who I am, to rather maybe edit his videos one day, to maybe collaborate. You never know, you never know. The possibilities are endless, but I was embarrassed. So we got to talking a little more, Madison and I, told her I have a YouTube channel. She wrote down my YouTube channel name, so maybe she's watching, maybe she's not. If she is, what up? She said that she would check out my channel, and then she goes, and this will always stick in my head, but then I wondered how. She goes, let me know when you're in LA, because then you can meet David Dobrik. And I'm sitting there like, holy crap, no freaking way. I texted Annie. I was like, we're meeting David Dobrik. Get ready. And then I realized after Madison left, how am I going to contact you? One, you don't follow me on Instagram. Two, you don't follow me on Twitter. Nothing like that. So if I message you, it just gets filtered with everybody else. And then I'm in dust. Overall, I'm going to rate this experience. It was crazy. It wasn't what I was expecting to do that entire week. It was just something random. Definitely got to take up the opportunities to do that kind of stuff. <sighs> But David Dobrik has seen me in his clickbait merch. I wish David Dobrik would see my vlogs. Those are more interesting. But hey, you know what? Not many people could say that Madison Beer sent a picture of them to David Dobrik. I'll take it. Madison, great girl, very nice, really down to earth. But Madison, if you are watching, don't be afraid to send me that picture that you sent to David because I'm actually kind of curious to see what I looked like. Now, if you guys did enjoy this, my first time video, make sure to demolish that thumbs up button down below and hit that subscribe button right below it. So guys, I will definitely see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.